Oh, hi, good morning to you. Welcome, welcome to another week. We are starting the vlog today somewhere slightly different. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am renovating a house at the moment. Part of what I do is all my online stuff, but then also another little thing that I do is I have houses that I rent out. Um, I do that for a couple of reasons. One, I think it's a good investment for the future because um, although you know being in social media is, is really good now financially, I don't know how long that's going to last because um, it's a brand new industry and I don't know how long we're going to like me, so fingers crossed forever, but you might not or it might not be something I want to do forever or it might, you know, you never know. So I try and make wise decisions with money so that in the future um, my children will be okay and yada yada. Also, every time I've made a big invest, I mean, I would call this a big investment. I know to some people it's not, but I, I think this is a big investment. Um, I try and make them, I'll talk more about this in the future. I try and make them good, uh, like good for my heart choices. So for example, this house I'm standing in now used to belong to my grandparents. And a couple of years ago, it was time for them to move into um, a residential facility where basically they have their own independence, but they've got like a little apartment in a complex that has care on site if they need it, because they're in their 90s now. And when they were moving out, I said, I'll buy your house at market value, um, so you'll still get a good rate for it, because the place they were moving to, I know I'm really waffling on now, but the place they were moving to said, oh, we'll buy your house, but they would have done it at quite a cut price, um, and that would have, you know, taken away some of grandma and granddad's money for them to live off for the rest of their lives. So I said, I will buy it for you, and also from you, and also it meant that they didn't have to rush to move out, because it's not like I was like, come on, I bought it now, you get, like, grandma and granddad have lived in this, ha had lived in this house, I think, since the 60s. I don't want to make their last few months here stressful or rushy, so um, it worked out really nicely, and also I think it gave particularly grandma, like a nice sense of peace to know that the house was still in the family and if she ever wants to come back and look around it, she can, um, and that I'll take care of it. So that leads me on to that what this house means to me. Um, I love this house so dearly. This is where I spent a lot of my childhood. Oh, my necklace has been funny the whole time. Sorry about that. Um, I, I had a very turbulent childhood and this was one of the few places I could come and feel really safe and happy. Um, so this is a really special place to me. I also feel like it's a special place because my uncle and auntie and dad grew up in this house, particularly my uncle and aunt, my auntie sadly passed away now, auntie Cleo, um, but my uncle Chris grew up in this house. So I feel like there's a lot of love in this house and as such I want to give it a lot of love back. So. I really want to take care of it um, and make sure that um, it's well looked after, it's well loved by its tenants, and then one day, maybe one of my girls will live in here. Darcy, would you like to live in this house one day? Yeah. Yeah? Let's um, do the kitchen hole. Oh, she wants me to show you the kitchen hole. Right, let's show you the kitchen hole, then we'll do a little talk. Me and my sister used to love this when we were little. Okay, who's there? Hello! Hello. <laughs> the little <laughs> hatch. We used to love that, me and uh, Auntie Tiana. We used to play in that, and my cousins. If it was Christmas Day, someone could just we could walk you up. Well, that's what happened. Yeah, it was like a cheese macaroon sandwich, please. A cheese macaroon. Well, what happens is, Grandma and Grandad used to have a table just there. I know. They didn't used to have those lights. The previous tenant put those in. They used to have a table there, and then Grandad would stand on that side, and Grandma would pass the food out and put it on the table. That's how we did it in the olden days. <laughs> So, the situation now is that the tenant that was living here has moved out and when I came to have this house, my plan was to spend a bit of money doing it up and just um, sort of renovating it. It's in great condition and my grandparents looked after it really well, um, but it is perhaps a little bit dated um, and could do with a freshener. I don't want them to watch this and feel like I'm slating them because I'm not because they took beautiful care of this home, but it just needs a little facelift. Um, but the tenant at that, t at that time, um, he really wanted to move in and he was like, I don't care, I just need to get in, I just need to get in. I think he was in, um, I, don't, I don't know what his situation was, but he really needed to move in. So I was like, if you're happy to take it as is, that's fine. Um, so he moved in and then recently he moved out. Um, so now it's my chance to give this a really good facelift. And 
I really would love the next tenant that lives here to really love it and make a home. I want it to be someone long term, um, so you know, at least a couple of years, preferably more, um, and someone that will feel really happy here like I have felt. So I'm going to do it up and make it really nice. Uh, but for now, I'm going to show you what it is now because I'm going to document the process of doing it up and um, when it's all jazzed up, I'll show you it and thought it might be just an interesting thing to do. So let's go for a little tour. So I'll start in the kitchen since that's where I was talking to you just now. Initially I had you on there and then I popped you on there. They're great little vlogging shelves. Uh, so here we are, the kitchen, as you can see, it's in good condition, like the worktops and cupboards are fine, but they do need a facelift. We actually just went to Wix now to go and um, design a kitchen. I'm not working with Wix or Gifted Wix, I didn't know I was turning up, I just booked an appointment. Um, and it was a really nice experience actually, they've got lots of show kitchens, um, and they have like great big kind of walls where they have all the different colour options, all the different wood options, um, all the taps, all the sinks, that kind of stuff. Um, we had a little look round and we sat down with someone, um, well the process was we went in a couple of weeks ago, told them we wanted a kitchen, someone came around to measure up and then today we went to go and design it because they put all the measurements into the computer um, and I'm really happy with the design so I'll talk to you about that in a second but um, yeah it was a really, it was a good experience. I have to say it's quite nice choosing kitchens, I might have found a new hobby. We've also chosen the tiles for the splash bag, we've just gone for white subway. Right, I'm back in the room as it were. Um, so let me give you a little bit of a close-up of some of the things that need changing in this room. So as I mentioned, the cupboards and worktops are going. This oven is going to go as well. I think that it's kind of had its last days. Um, the tiling is all going to be removed um, and the flooring as well is all going to be removed. Um, I think what I'm going to do is have laminate going through the whole of the downstairs, not just here but like this bit. Um, and it will be a different layout, so the sink is going to move over slightly and then the cooker, the oven and hob are going to go just here with a built-in um, extractor so it kind of will be disguised as a cupboard so that the bank of cupboards look really neat going all the way around. This is the other side of it. I'm keeping the hatch because that's a family favourite and that can't go anywhere. And then if you come round to the other side of the room, there is a nook here under the stairs which is perfect for someone to put their fridge. So we go through the kitchen and we come into, oh hi, hi. <laughs> this lounge. Free um, lounge, a free Darcy with every lounge. So this is the front room um, it's and, spacious. yes it is. It's got lots of room for lots of storage. Yes. So if you watched any of my old, old vlogs, you might actually remember this room. Oh, it's struggling to focus because it's got nothing to focus on. Bear with, bear with. They used to have a sofa here and my grandma and granddad had chairs here. So I think grandma would sit here and granddad would sit here. They'd look out the window. Um, they had their TV here and grandma used to collect paint uh, plates and put them up here. So if I sweep you round, we have the Darcy, but we also have this like little dining room nook. Um, these weren't from grandma and granddad, our previous tenant put these in. But that's where we were in here. So there's a nice little space for um, a dining table and set of chairs. And then out here it goes on to um, the garden area. It's not grassy at this, at this part, it's just a paved one, which I think is good because it's less maintenance. Um, but that's kind of part of the garden area. So it's a really, really good size room. Don't forget the nook. I have a, the little hatch. I haven't. I'm not going to change these, I think I'm just going to give these a good clean because these are the original little handles and I just love them. Um, but in terms of the facelift for this room, we are going to have the walls um, stripped and um, smoothed. All this wallpaper just gives me such like nostalgic vibes. I love it, um, but I think for the purposes of renting we're going to um, have it all smoothed. And then the carpet I'm going to replace. That's what we're here for today, isn't it, Doodles? We're gonna, and Evie might come over. And Evie might come over. We're going to rip up all the carpet and remove this. Um, we're going to do something with this. 
Um, this colour, Grandma and Granda didn't have it like this. The tenant painted it like this. Um, but I th I'm not sure what to do on colours. What would you do? White seems like it might just be a bit too stark. But I don't know. Maybe a very pale grey. This we're going to have removed. This is very 70s. Um, my grandparents used to have a rail along here and they used to draw a curtain to like make the room cosier. Um, the doors I'm keeping, I love the doors because they let in so much light, which is fantastic. So we'll move out into the hallway now. And same as before, basically, we're going to have the wallpaper just removed um, and have it smoothed and painted. This wallpaper, me and my sister Tiana, used to be really naughty. I can do it now because it's going, but we used to dig our nails into it like that and make little marks and Grandad used to be so annoyed at us. Best stop even though it's going. Um, and again, the flooring. So in here, I think I'm gonna go for gray carpet. But then if we move over here so you can get like a full length shot, I'm gonna do a gray laminate. You know the one that looks like wood? So it goes all the way through and into the kitchen which is over there. You know when I said that my granddad looked after this house so beautifully with grandma, he did things like this. Like look, he's put the wallpaper in to make the switches look nice, which I think's such a cute granddad thing to do, isn't it? If we swing round to this room here, we have a really, really good sized dining room. Oh, he's in here, ta-da! So you could either use this as a dining room, because this used to be Grandma and Grandad's formal dining room, where we would have our Christmas dinners, or... I don't remember this room. Don't you? It's been so long. I remember that room, the other rooms. Oh, it's not been that long. So they had the big table here, do you remember? And they had a bureau over there. What's a bureau? Bureau, like a sideboard thing. Cool. And they had a cabinet just in there. Um, personally... I would probably use this as a playroom or, I mean, it's quite large to be an office. I don't, I think without furniture, it's hard to get a scale, but look, look, I can walk for ages before I get to the back. Ta-da. Um, yeah, I think I would use this as a playroom um, or maybe make this a lounge, I don't know. Basically, I feel like since there's already a table area in that room, why would you want one? But I suppose if you really like entertaining and you want a formal table, maybe this room. Uh, but what I'm gonna do in this one, again, the wallpaper is coming out and the flooring as well. I'm gonna go for that gray carpet. And something else I think I'm gonna go around and update are the electrical, um, what would you call these? Fixtures and fittings? I think that they are just, I mean, is that like the old, what's the plastic called? Like Microlight or, you know, Bakelite. <laughs> I think it's an old one. Also, I'm going to change the plugs because you'll note that these don't have a switch on, so I want to modernize all of those. Also, I'm having all of the woodwork sorted, so like the skirting boards are all gonna be freshened. Um, keeping the door because it gets uh, lo lets lots of light in, which is good. Okay, let's go upstairs. So before we go upstairs, I want to tell you a couple of things about the staircase. Granddad didn't used to have this on. It used to just be just like this and there was no staircase at all. And it, I'm sure it used to be wider than just this. And me and my cousins used to slide down here and think that was a lot of fun. And I think I've heard a story, but I might be wrong, that my uncle Chris, when he was tiny, like Pearl's age, used to fall asleep on the stairs or maybe Auntie, Ke uh, Auntie Cleo, I'll have to ask. Um, right, let's go up the stairs. I'm gonna replace all the carpets up here with a nice gray. Okay, so stairs down here. It's quite a decent sized landing. We've got a little nook here that grandma and granddad used to have, a chest of drawers. And then this is the landing space here and it goes off into the bathroom, which is where I'm standing, and then three bedrooms. I was just stood over there, I've toddled in here. This is bedroom number three, really, because this is a really small box room. This can't be removed because it's got like a weird thing under it. I think maybe it's from this, which is the um, airing cupboard. But this room used to be where I used to stay, and my bed used to go just here. I think this room used to be my Auntie Cleo's when she was a little girl. Um, and my granddad had this amazing like unit that he'd built here that had a desk that came down and like loads of secret little nooks and crannies in it. It was incredible. 
And then there was a bed here, a chest of drawers. I used to look out this window um, and watch everyone go by. And then here was a wardrobe and here was a mirror. And that's pretty much all you can get in this room. It's not enormous. This room would be really, really good for a baby. It would be really good um, if you had a toddler because it would really comfortably fit a toddler bed or a single bed um, or a cot. And yeah, this would be like perfect for a toddler. Do you know, I talked about it on Instagram, but I really want a mother to live here. I just feel like this was such a happy, safe place for me that I would love other children to grow up in this house and for it to be a really happy, safe place for them and for their mums and dads and brothers and sisters. But yes, this would be a lovely room for a little child. Let's go through and see the other rooms. This was grandma and granddad's bedroom. <laughs> this is not theirs. This was left by our previous tenant. Um, and look who we have again. <laughs> Here's Doodles, so yes, I don't think they were grandma and granddad, I think they've been added, um, we'll perhaps take those off. Um, so their bed was there, this is a great spot for a bed um, and bedside tables, lots of nice space there, or I suppose you could have the bed coming out of here. Um, and before, grandma and granddad had fitted, oh, what's happened with my monkey with focus? Darcy, go and stand over there so it's got something to focus on, it's struggling. Can it focus on you? Here she is, ta-da! So this used to be where um, they had some sort of fitted wardrobes. I think Grandad built them and Grandma had a vanity unit and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're gonna remove the carpets and have fresh ones, have the woodwork all touched up, have the wallpaper removed. And then also um, this room has got kind of like squidgy ceiling tiles and we're gonna have those taken off and have the ceiling made good and um, painted. So, come out of here with, I call this my room, it's not my room, but my little room just there, um, air and cupboard just here, landing, and then this room here used to be my dad and Uncle Chris's room. Um, our last tenant had um, a child, so this was obviously his room. And this is a really big room. <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming a feature. Thank you, Darcy. So this is a really, really good size room. Do a little run from side to side to show how big it is. Right, ready, steady. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so this room is actually about the same size as that room. So it's nice to have two large bedrooms. And again, um, the wallpaper is all gonna go cop. It's gonna go woodwork, be refreshed. Ceiling, it's the same as the other room that needs removing and sorting out. Um, and again, I'm going to see about sorting out the electric um, sockets. I'm going to have the wiring checked. The, the uh, plugs, not plugs, what are these called? Light switches up here are much better, so um, I'm fine with that. I was also thinking about potentially changing the door handles. Definitely this one just needs a little bit of maintenance to it. Um, but that's something I'm thinking about. So last room before I tell you um, my next steps is the bathroom. Now, I am gonna have this flooring taken out. I think we're gonna take it out today. And eventually I do want to re um, do the bathroom, but I think that's gonna be the last thing on my list to do. The bathroom, although dated, is in great working order. So, um, it's the last on my list of things to do. I think it's really pressing to do the kitchen uh, because the cooker doesn't work and because that's a room that you're gonna use an awful lot. Obviously use the bathroom a lot, but you know what I mean? It's kind of downstairs, it's more used. Um, and I think that the wallpaper and the carpets are really gonna give the house a really nice new lease of life. So the bathroom, I'm gonna see how we go with the budget. Um, I would like to at some point replace it, but I think for now, whilst it's still working, um, and in, it's in good condition, um, that's gonna remain as is. So it looks like this at the moment. Um, corner bath, um, lots of handrails, obviously, because grandma and granddad were getting on a bit, but you know, handy if you want something to lean on to. Um, and then some shelves, I think our previous tenant put those up and you know, just a pretty standard creamy, <laughs> peachy sweet but I will replace the flooring and the um I think are we doing the walls in here I think so so there's a lot to take on 
hasn't come at a great time of year because this is my busiest time of year for work and of course just personally it's busy at Christmas isn't it especially when you're a mum and you're doing all your mum things your mum life um, but I'm quite passionate about doing it right and doing it nicely I don't want to do just a quick cheap job on it because Firstly, I'm a believer in buy cheap, buy twice, and secondly, um, because I love this house and I want to create a home that I would be happy to live in, so I want to make it of a standard that I would be comfortable in. Um, so, I'm about to pour a lot of time and love and money <laughs> into making this really nice. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to, well, my cousins should be here any minute. What time are we on? Five past two. So they're going to be here soon. I've got with me, let me prop you up somewhere, one moment, put you back on my little vlogging shelf there. I wonder when Grandad installed these shelves if he thought, oh yeah, they'll make good vlogging shelves. Um, right, so I've got my little folder here of what the kitchen's going to look like. I'll show you a little picture of it, a sneaky peeky, well I'll show you a sneaky peeky in a minute. Um, I've got a notepad and I'm going to go around every room and just list what needs doing. Um, even if it's just like have windows cleaned that sort of thing so then I've got like a master list of everything I need to do and I can start working out the budget a little bit the kitchen I've just paid for so that's budgeted and also the tiles I bought um, so I've paid for those um, and we've had quotes for the walls so we just need to sort out car flooring carpet um, and then some electrician work luckily my cousin's an electrician so um, hopefully he'll help me out a little bit um, but yes that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go around with my list I'll show you a little bit what the kitchen will look like just a quickie hoo -hoo. Um, here we go this is what it looks like now and then this is what it's going to look like can you see that the hob is gonna be moved over there the sink is gonna be moved um, a bit more along and then as you go around here it will just be a much more kind of tidy bank hello <laughs> these aren't the actual colors that we're going for um these are going to be a really really light gray and then these are kind of say brown sounds not nice oh actually um you will have seen it already won't you in the clip for wick so that's good um but that's what the kitchen's going to look like so lots to do and the first thing we're going to do today is rip out all the carpet so i'll show you a bit of that <laughs> Granddad's old workshop. Let's have a little look in here. Hello, Squidgy. Yeah. What's going on in here? This is where my granddad used to make so many things. Oh, makes me feel a bit sad that he had to that he had to leave this. You know, Granddad used to make so many things in here. Did you know that? Didn't you? He loved it in here. I might take this and paint it. Nice, oh. Oh. oh, this is my grandma's doodah. Oh. This, grandma used to have this, and she used to keep eggs in it, I think. Should we take it home? Could I paint this? Viewers, let me know, because I'm not keen on the colour. If I could paint that, but it's uh, it's got a glaze on it. Don't touch that. You'll the amount of times I hurt my finger in this as a child. And that little bit there when it drops down, like that is heavy. I'm so so glad that this is mine to treasure. I feel like it's treasuring a part. Oh, gosh, having a sentimental moment here, guys. <laughs> um, I feel like it's mine to treasure for them. They're still alive, by the way. <laughs> they're not acting like they've died. Oh gosh, there we are. Um. But yeah, I'm just so glad that I get to be the custodian of this place and to keep it, to love it. I have a nice moment. And I've got children roaring at me. <laughs> Goodness me. Honey, honey. Just give it to me. Oh. I actually got it then. 
Right, Spaniel's here. Daniel, come and say hello. Do a little hello. Hello. Hello, Daniel. He's the world's greatest electrician, aren't you? Um, yeah, yeah, we'll say yes. We'll say yes. <laughs> uh, but we've gone from, can you have a quick look and see if we could upgrade the, what's it called, face plates of things? Yeah. Are they called so face plates? Point, so sockets and switches. Now we're, now we're rewiring the whole kitchen and moving the boiler controls. I've written it down. And um, upgrading the surge device. Is that how you'd say it? Yeah. We're moving, and, we're moving and shaking, Daniel. <laughs> we're moving and shaking. We're doing things. Evie's here. Hello, Evie. Her name's Ruby, actually, but it's Violet. Oh, Ruby and Violet. And Ruby, welcome. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> Hello, Violet. And my dad's here. Let's see if we can go and find dad. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, got lots going on. Oh, Pearly. There you go. This is where I used to live. Is it weird seeing me rip it all up? Well, it's just me being back here because I lived here from the age of 7 to 22, 23. So that was the first one we did. The stairs are all done now. This is all done. You've cut your finger, haven't you, Dad? I stabbed myself, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. People don't want to see blood. No, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. I'm very sorry that you've cut yourself. This one's all going, a little bit left here. You're doing a good job, Andy. <laughs> and then I think upstairs, it's all done as well. Let's go and have a little look upstairs. Wow, looks a bit different, doesn't it? What does this say? Do not cut across this. Electrics. So Dad is telling us that these are the original 1950s tiles. Hang on, I'll show you them. Look. It's the original tiles there. So they'd be over 70 years old. Well, 60, 70 years old. God, almost as old as you. Um, older than me at the time. Well, Barely. the tiles would be about the same age as me. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know yeah, but they're not like 500 years old, Dad. No, who's that? Are you being helpful? No thanks. What are you doing? See you later. <laughs> Okie dokie, we are done actually. Uh, all the carpet's gone. Daniel and I have gone round and decided what we're gonna do because the rooms don't have a lot of sockets. So we're gonna put some more sockets in. The single sockets are there at the moment. They're just like a single. We're gonna make doubles. So, you know, whoever lives here can use more than one electric appliance per room. Um, we're gonna rewire the kitchen. Um, the kitchen's gonna go in in about a month. I'm gonna stall the decorator so that Daniel has time to do some of the electrical work. Early. Um, and yes, yes, so it's all go. I feel very positive. I feel glad that we've made this big start and I've like put things in motion to get going. I'll keep you updated on all of the house stuff really until until I can't come in here anymore and wander around with a camera because someone will be living here. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's actually Saturday now and it's going up tomorrow. So I'm gonna take this home and take you home and edit you and um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments, leave a friendly one, and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, bye!